Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade from Windows 7 or an unsupported Windows 11 7 device to Windows 11. Let's get into the video. Now, before we begin, you need to make sure you have a list of things. Number one, you need to make sure you have a Windows 11 and Windows 10 ISO. The next thing you must have if you're using Windows 7 is you must have an extracting software installed such as 7-zip. Since you can't mount ISO files, we'll need to extract them. Next, your system must be 64-bit and it must have two cores. Otherwise, this will not work. The first thing you want to do is click on your Windows 11 ISO, right click on it, hover on top of 7-zip and click extract files. Click OK, then click close. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the Windows 10 ISO. So we're going to click it, right click, click 7-zip or hover on top of it, and then click Extract Files, click OK, and there we go. So we're going to open up the Windows 11 folder. We're going to navigate to the Sources folder, so we can double click that. We're going to scroll down or in the search you can type install.wim or install.esd. Depending on the ISO that you got, it can be install.esd, because in my case it's install.esd, or it could be install.wim. So look for either one. Right click on it and click copy. And now we can close out of the Windows 11 folder. Now we're going to open up our Windows 10 folder. We're going to double click the sources folder. And we're going to look for install.wim or install.esd. So we can just use the search or just scroll down. I'll use the search. So install.wim. And you're going to delete it. You can't have install.wim and install.esd because it'll just corrupt the entire installer. So now that it's deleted, you need to right click and click paste. So we're just pasting the install.esd file into the, into the folder. Now you can delete the Windows 11 folder because we don't need that anymore. And we can go to the root of the folder and we can double click the setup. Click yes on the user account control pop up. And it'll say installed Windows 10. Don't worry, you're installing Windows 11. We're just using the Windows 10 installer. So we're going to click change how Windows setup downloads updates and set this to not right now. Otherwise, this will not work if you don't. And then just click next. And you need to have a product key. Otherwise, you cannot proceed. So I'm just going to paste my product key and it's going to be blurred out. It says my product key works, so I'm going to click next. We need to accept the license terms, so just click accept. And click keep personal files only. Just click next. It'll say make sure you're ready to install. This may take a few minutes, and please wait. And there we go. You can see here it says install Windows 11 Pro because my product key is for Windows 11 Pro. And keep personal files only. It says ready to install. And click install. And there we go, we're taking in the Windows 11 setup type of thing, the out of box experience. And of course, I'm going to disable all of this, like everyone just does it, so. Like, there's no point of having advertising ID, like all this stuff here. But for whatever reason, you can have whatever you want enabled, because again, it's your choice. It's your computer, do whatever you want with it. But for me, I'm going to disable everything. We can click accept. And there we go. You've successfully upgraded Windows 7 to Windows 11. So. Thanks for watching, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and comment down below what you thought on this video. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.